Hello everyone, my name is Pixel, and welcome to Poppy Playtime. We're gonna get started on this game today, and you can expect to see this and the next chapter following shortly after, so be sure to be sure to subscribe and stay tuned and you'll definitely see us go through this toy house of madness. Chapter 1 of Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., he finally returned to the factory many years after everyone within disappeared. Okay, so we used to we used to own this factory and I guess it's abandoned or something and you are about going to back see in. The most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. You getting a little close Although there, buddy. Can talk to her. Also, Poppy here, gives her answers. your lips don't quite match your talking. She is actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. <laughs> here, your lip syncing was a little Poppy off there. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. My name is Poppy. Hi, Poppy. I love you. Oh, you Can do. You help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Hell no. Poppy. Just like I don't polish girl, Poppy shoes for no doll. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else they you'd thought like to about say, everything. Poppy? I'm a real girl. Five ninety nine. Like you. Hell yeah. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted Playtime. to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering That's factory creepy. tours at just two ninety nine dollars a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... The wobble from side to side. Big flower. That's the magical poppy door, I'm guessing. Big flower of fun. I've definitely been looking forward to playing this one. I, it's been a while since I've been able to get around to it. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay, we got to find the flower. But yeah, like I was saying, I know this game's been out for a while. Definitely been meaning to get to it, and I'm excited that I'm finally able to get around to it. Just time to see what I've got in store for me. Escape the pause. Ooh, that's a motion blur. Tape. Lathe pier closing. Doors. Well, you know what? At least they they got a little thing running up here. You know they they got a nice train, a nice cat on the wall. This must this looks like it would have been like the gift shop or something. No, oh, getting run. Oh, it says tab to view items. Oh. Okay, it, it has no description. It it just shows you, hey, I have this. Oh, v VCR. Oh, it, it matches. Guess we can watch Hi. now. My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. Are you now? You're seeing this, then you're trespassing. No, I'm now, not. We play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. <laughs> so, trespasser, just to make you aware. While we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Oh yeah. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, no spoilers. Got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Well, joke's on you, buddy. 
I own this place, so it is impossible for me to be trespassing. A little yellow cat right there. Boop, boop, boop. And some colors. The blue hand up there. Got anything behind the desk? No, we got nothing behind the desk. Let me turn on the computer. Nope, we can't play with the computer. Let's see what we got going on. Oh! The train is colors. I wonder if this has anything to do with it. Green, pink, yellow, red. You gotta recite that. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Yeah, I, th I think we got it already. Green, pink, yellow, red. Hey! Alright, we did it! Got another, another tape right here. Oh, there we go. You, you don't have to remind me to pick up an item again. Alright, what are we going to be watching today? Grab pack. <laughs> Cannons. I'm going to be wielding a weapon here. Pull trigger to fire and pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto the object. Only fire at small objects. Something tells me. Pit! <laughs> Oh crap! <laughs> Wires conductive. Use it for rewiring. It, pull, it pulled the head straight off of that dude. Use your grab pack responsibly. What's the time? Play time! Is this my grab pack? Can I? Can I go in there? Oh, that's fast. Oh, shit. Oh, blue. Blue on blue. Oh, I, c I could have just jumped over that. Or could I push it? Nope. I could have just jumped over it. Yo! Yo, look big man here. We got... What's your name? Your name's Huggy? High five. Oh, I missed. High five. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. Oh, got a locked door. Now you don't go nowhere. I gotta figure out what we got going on here. It's like that's the only one that's lit up. Oh! I'm just blind. And we broke it. Oh. Where'd you get that from? Thanks, buddy. High five for me. So I guess I gotta use the key to unlock it now. Oh, they've got, they've got a pink one, too. Do be kind to others. Do show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare Laith Pierre. <laughs> what? Who's Laith Pierre? Don't stay past 8 p.m. Don't misuse company time. Don't tamper with the machinery. Don't enter innovation wing without authorization. Okay, you know what? I think I think I can follow those rules. Seems simple enough. Where? Oh, where do we go now? You're closed. What did I come in here for? Is there something I'm supposed to find in here? Can I open this up? Nope.
Oh. Grab to divert power. Okay. Hey, we did it. Well, that seemed easy enough. Now let's, oh, crap. Where, where'd our buddy go? Our buddy got the spotlight shine on him and now he's not there no more. There we go, we got the door opened up. Oh, hi. Huggy. Huggy, are you on the move now? Stairway to hell. Well, that's a bit extreme, don't you think? Oh, it's dark in here. Is there a light somewhere? No? Oh! Damn you, Steam! You can get me one time, you're not gonna get me again. I know it says don't grab large objects, but you know what? I think that's what we gotta do. Oh, I can't pull this one. You can't pull that box. Well, obviously there's a little, there's a tape around here somewhere. But where is it is the question. <laughs> Remember to take breaks. Thanks, Huggy. I guess we gotta find, find the four boxes. What's that noise? Somebody's watching me. Or are they? Hop on down. Let's see. Okay, we got a yellow one right there. Oh. Or maybe that was red. I don't know. Oh no, it was yellow. And that one's white. Okay, so we've got three of them. Now where could that last one be? Good. Oh, can pull the door. Alright, so that's how we get back up. Let's close that door. You know, not that I think that would make a difference or anything. Because I think if there's something in here and it wants to get me. You know, like, our big blue friend that we see all of a sudden moving. I think he's going to uh, do whatever he wants regardless. That's just what I think, though. Oh. Staring me in the face. It's funny how like a lot of these things they hide them in bl they hide them in plain sight, but like that's the last place you're gonna look. You'd swear that people were blind sometimes, but you know it's just nice and hidden. Okay, we got the last one. Hey, we got the system up and running again. bringing me my hand you bringing me my second hand can I grab it from here nope I gotta go down here and get it hey I have two hands now I can pull the big boxes Urgh, or can I Hey, I can. I can pull big boxes now. Okay. 
you there and you there. Hey, and we are making some progress. But where is, where's the yellow tape? I mean, I know I saw a yellow VHS player, which is called a VCR. I don't know why I called it that. Ooh, this is one tight space. Woo! Do not enter. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I can't do that. Oh, I can walk through. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to find a way to complete this circuit. Oh wait, no. Okay, this will be better. And we wrap it around here. And bam, whoa, crap. We're going for a ride. Man, it is quite dark in here. Do I have a flashlight? Now, how am I going to come back to my abandoned... Come back to my abandoned facility and not have a flashlight? I sure am powering up the place, though. Oh, boy. They are coming on down. What we got here? Make a friend. Doesn't work. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Play Tom Co.'s greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Play Tom Co. toy sold in the market to this day. All it needs to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Well, that is a nice, that is a nice machine. The kids can make a, a special friend that is unique to them. Well, looks like we're gonna need some power. Got another puzzle here. Okay. Well, I <laughs> okay, I am I am all out of arm. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so I gotta somehow get on the other side of this and pull it. So let's see. Let's pull it that way. So this way I have a space. Still can't make it that way. Urgh, I still can't make it. 
what if we did this? Oh, okay, that works. Hey, we powered it up. That wasn't so bad. I don't think it'd be a good idea to just jump down from up here. So I think we're gonna take the correct way. And I think we're just gonna walk back down the stairs. And here's a pink one. I didn't find, I didn't find any VHS play tapes though. Oh well. I mean, I guess they're not too imperative to advance the story or anything, but geez. So can I make a friend now? This one's lit up, so is this the one that I pull? No. Or do I press the button? I press the button. We have got power. Nobody leaves without a toy. Oh look, now I can do stuff. We are gonna make a toy. There goes our parts. Oh look, our, our toy is apparently gonna be some like weird cat rabbit hybrid looking thing. And you are looking real suspicious. Press the button now. Power. Okay, so it's powered on. You can only see it though from this one specific angle. Yo, are you done with my toy yet? You know, if I was a kid and I had to wait this long for this thing, I'd be getting real impatient. Like, I think this is our. Here's my toy. He goes through the he goes through the laser grid of checkness. Come on down, buddy. There's our toy. It's like a cat V hybrid looking thing. Alright, we got our toy. Now we gotta place the toy. And we're done! Alright then, let's mosey on out. Uh, hello? Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, he's giving chase. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Damn it. <laughs> Crap. <sighs> okay. Okay. The huggy got us. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, boy's coming. Man, he caught up to us real fast. He must have took an alternate, alternate path. Oh shit! Okay, this is the other way. Follow the words. Guess that was what we do. Go down the elevator. Woo! Oh no! 
<laughs> I stayed there way too long. You know what? Maybe I don't fall down the hole. Okay, come on. Just you and me. Okay, I'm gonna jump over the hole this time. Maybe that's what I have to do. Nope, can't jump over the hole. There must be another doorway down here. No, there's not another doorway. Wait, there is a there's another doorway here. I accidentally went into it. <laughs> Just fall. Okay, and it was definitely on the right side. This way. That's not it. God damn it. Oh crap, I was supposed to crouch right there. Okay, we got this, we got this. Crouch in here. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you for opening up that door for me. Got him! We escaped, and I got really worried near the end there. Uh, hello, can I have my hand back? Thank you. Oh, look, it's the flower door. Let's get the hell out of here. We killed Huggy Wuggy. We all good now. He ain't gonna bother us no more. No, stop, danger, turn around, go back, run. But I don't want to. I just got done running. So I'm going to get out of here. We're in a house now? Where's that music coming from? What is this place? Am I in a giant dollhouse is this poppy's house I thought that was something walking but it's just a fan hey it's poppy you're safe now poppy come out and play you opened my case I did was that a bad thing? Oh, we're done. <laughs> wow, that was an experience. That was terrifying, especially at the end. Huggy Wuggy isn't exactly the friend that we thought he was. And I'm sure deeper in this toy factory I'm sure there's a whole lot more waiting for us. And I wonder what Poppy meant by you opened my case, you know, besides the obvious. That that's what we did. We opened the case. Maybe she has special surprises in store for us. Can we skip this? Okay, so that was... Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely enjoyed that. I'm definitely looking forward to playing the next chapter. If you liked what you saw, 
feel free to like this video if you want to see more and get notified whenever I play chapter two of this. Subscribe to the channel. You'll, uh, you'll of course get notified and be one of the first people to watch it. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see all of y'all next time. Bye now.